Hello and welcome to Get Fit. I'm Debbie Shanks and we have with us Miss our great instructor, Miss Brenda. Hello. Um, Brenda, I'm really glad that you're here. We have a new class that we're starting here at the Clark Center. We're doing chair Pilates and they're doing it at Indian Head too. And I'm really excited about this class because it really just teaches good foundations of Pilates and what Pilates is. And I know that a lot of our people at home probably have no clue of what it is. They've probably heard of yoga and they've heard of little mind body ex classes and things like that. But Pilates is huge and it's, it's just a different type of working out all together where you don't really have to um, you know, do a lot of cardio and you still get the work and benefits yeah. done. So we're going to get to your class in a minute, but um, aside from, I know that the, the core is involved, every major muscle group is involved, but just mm -hmm. tell them what this class and what's going on with the whole world of Pilates. Oh, okay. Well, here at the uh, Richard Clark Center and at the Indian Head Center, um, use two chairs uh, to do things that you would normally do on the floor. You can do in the two chairs and uh, get all the benefits of fundamental Pilates. Um, like Debbie was saying, it's all about the core, um, all about the spine. Uh, so many people have back problems and uh, I have arthritis in my back but never feel it anymore because of the, I think, the Pilates. I've never had it documented by my doctor. I don't go to the doctor for my back anymore. Really? Yeah. That's good. That's good because I know that keeping our muscles really strong helps support our spinal structure and that's the right. whole idea around Pilates is just keeping all that strong through your core so you've yeah. got a good spinal support with all the organs and the things that are going on inside. So yep. these exercises that you teach specifically, you know, you, what you focus on breathing, yeah, um, posture. Absolutely, posture. Um, how about so, balance? Is there some balance yes, stuff thrown indeedy. in there? Yes, indeed, balance. Um, to do some of the exercises, you have to um, incorporate the little teeny muscles that you would use to keep balance. So balance definitely. Um, it takes a while um, to get to a point where um, you're getting a lot of the benefit of. Pilates, but um, it's worth the while. Yeah, I know the flexibility, and, not to mention, mm -hmm. you know, the good flexibility stuff yeah. that's going on too. I know that um, there's, you know, all those components and you really, it's it's a slow, the, the activity's slow, mm -hmm. so you're not sweating profusely, right. you're not running around the room doing like things that you would do as a cardio class. Mm -hmm. So um, what we're going to do is at home, if you're wanting to participate, go get your chair and possibly two chairs and ones yes. that don't have wheels because you don't want to no. be wheeling around. So <laughs> you want stable chairs, two of them, and a water bottle and some nice mm -hmm. exercise clothes and we will be right back with Brenda and Chair Pilates. So stay tuned. Love you. <laughs> Okay, again, lightly here. So just sitting up proper is uh, a, an event. Just trying to do everything with good posture in this rest of the hour. Breathing in and out. And uh, I congratulate y'all for getting up on this cold morning and coming out. I mean, you know, and let's do something like here. Pat yourself on the back. That's an exercise. <laughs> Honestly, let's pat ourselves on the back. So what's that do? Uh, yeah, that's a stretch right there. Mm -hmm. Let's take the arms up now. So Pilates in the chair, huh? We can do everything in the chair that you can on the floor. Let's reach for a moment, reach, and now head facing right toward me or looking at yourself in the mirror, which is good because you're going to line yourselves up and you can see that you're doing that. Now pull the shoulders away from the ears. Oh, all of a sudden you feel the shoulder blades and even across the chest movement. 
Bring the hands right here. Let the palms face each other. Let's take a deep breath in. Now let the belly push out a little bit as you breathe in, like a bellow or an accordion. We're going to breathe out and hold in the belly button and arms right here. Very direct, very exaggerated, mechanical. Breathe in, shoulders away from the ears, pull them down. That's great. And breathe out, hold in the belly button now and relax, okay? All right, let's take the bands again and we're going to do some repetitions with the bands. So, and you don't want to tax the fingers by really squeezing and pulling. You just enough to give yourself a little resistance. You feel that in the arms. So squeeze it and pull. Take a deep breath in up. And breathe out down. Hold in the belly button. Breathe in. Breathe out. These bands are great too, because they do give you that resistance that you want. And you want to fatigue yourself, if that's what you want to call it. A little fatigue, that'll help strengthen you later on. Whole purpose of weightlifting, any kind of exercising too. It's like you want to push your body a little bit and uh, let the body heal itself. You come back a little stronger, able to climb that mountain. We are going mountain climbing, aren't we, later? <laughs> mountain climbing. In our dreams. No. No, but um, I tell you what, Charles County has so much to offer. I mean, line dancing, you got, um, oh my goodness. Yoga, you got Tai Chi, you got me. What? What'd I say? You... Okay, yeah. Zumba. Zumba. Make sure the feet are flat on the floor. Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna, bow and arrow and don't let it go we're just going to stretch it here so right now we're just stretching 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 okay now we're going to go on and pick up the weights okay so moving right along picking up the weights we're going to come away from the back of the chair so sitting up real straight like aunt martha used to say and uh, go ahead and take the weights right here. And again, we're not going to squeeze the weights and tax the finger. We're just going to hold them enough so they're not going to slip out. So watch your knees. Make sure the knee is right over the ankle. So we're going to do everything in really perfect form. Okay. Away from the back of the chair. Arms are locked out. And now bring the elbows into the top of the hip and lock them there and now we're just going to lift here and now we're going to place place and halfway down open up the fingers place working that big bicep muscle right now now let's do it with the breathing we're going to add on and we're going to add on smiles because that always <laughs> that's always helps it makes everything easier oh okay Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Hold in the belly button. See, adding on, smile. I talk a lot. I can talk all the way and then you will not even know time has passed. <laughs> and plus, it's comforting, you know, when you are taking a class and you come in and you are actually you know, instructed what to do. It's easy. I like that. And that's how I took classes um, and learned uh, from people who taught. And it's a great uh, profession, this stuff. Yay! <laughs> it is. Okay, so, and you know, and group exercise is great too because. Yes. 
Yes. If I'm at home by myself or whatever, it's like, I don't know, sometimes I'm going to try to pick up these weights, but it's not, it, yes, it is. It's like, and you get in a group, and two, here's another thing. Okay, we've been doing this. Your mind is diverted. But when you're in a group activity, you have to be able to be aware of your body and to be able to stop when your body is saying stop because everybody has different issues every day. Our bodies are different every day. And if you've got a sore elbow and you're in a class and you're lifting and you keep, you keep lifting past that level of comfort, it's like, that's not really that good. I mean, so you have to be aware, you have to be uh, confident enough to say, oh, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm putting this down. I'll just do this one. You know. Okay, now we're going to switch up. Switch up. We're going to come away from the body. So just doing weights now in the chair. We're going to turn the weights this way. And we're going to look for right angles. So let the arms come out. Look for right angles. And we're just going to pulse up a little bit. One, we're going to do ten. Two, up, good. Hey. Hmm, y'all look good. I said curls. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Good arms, no flab. Good arms, <laughs> and I mean, this really, this is good because the whole body is affected, you know. Just like when you're painting a ceiling. Oh, give me the Epsom salt. Okay. Okay, I think that we're going to call this 10 right there. Okay, now stop. Make sure the weights are out a little bit, and then we're going to come in. This one is hard. And butterfly, beautiful ladies, oh yes, there, let's do, oh, see, that's good, stop, and then you feel better, you get right back into it, but okay, now we're going to hold here, hold here, come down, and here, okay, now we're going to take the weights right here. Check your feet position again, okay? And now we're just going to come out a little bit down. Oh, let's be careful. Okay. Actually, let's go ahead, lean over, lean over. Try to push the bottom out a little bit. And we're just going to pulse back one minute one second and come back okay so think about the elbows right now lock them out careful with the hands don't squeeze too hard but just lift back there we go there we go there we go here we go one more there and hold sit back up let's go like this okay sit way up like you're at a ball game squeeze your bottom a little bit you're trying to lengthen out here like you're at a ball game and you're trying to see over or somebody's head ah oh, lifting exaggerated okay and then lift boom back down hey keep the knees <laughs> keep the knees bent at that angle and so you're just lifting the leg out of the hip socket Okay, three, four. We're going to get use both chairs in a second here. Uh, this is the first class I'm doing here. So um, I need to get like used to the place, used to you all, and you all need to get used to me. But I'm just kind of seeing where we're at right now, hoping we'll have more people next time, hoping you're going to come back. Keep the foot great. Flat down on the floor, flat down on the floor, okay, and let's stop right here. Let's put the weights to the sides, and we're going to use both chairs now, and I'm going to turn. Oh, this is glorious, because we are doing it. Okay, so 
Sitting down. Let's take the feet up, feet up, and go ahead and take the chair here, and we're going to get a snug fit. Oh, okay. Okay, so sit up. Take your hands like this and put them right on your knees just to make sure that you're not using the arms to lay back as if, you know, we're watching television. Okay, so let's flex, start by flexing the feet real hard and the toes are going back toward your face and the heels are even lifting up off of the floor of the seat of the chair. Now we're going to take the arms out like this. Bring the shoulders down. Y'all look good. Take a deep breath in. Put your mind's eye on your spine. Lengthen out. And now hold in the belly button and almost like you're going to dive for the feet. Hold back the belly button. Keep the small of the back pressing toward the back of the chair as you lean forward. Hold it right there. Keep the chin tucked in and now hinge a little bit from the hips and see how far your fingers can go. Are they going towards your toes? Are they over your shins? Wherever your hands are, let them drop right there. Now, using the body as a tool, you're going to go ahead and hold on to wherever your hands have dropped, tuck in the chin, take a deep breath in, and on the breath out, I want you to try to relax your feet. So, thinking about relaxing the whole body and letting gravity stretch your spine. Forward, as you hold in the belly button, and relax, relax the face. On the breath out, any muscles that are trying to fight, I want you to, on the breath out, relax. Starting with the feet. Usually if you start with the feet, relax. The whole body starts relaxing. So take a moment. This is the same thing as if you were on the floor. Now go ahead and look up. And now we're going to come back up with the same hand position, arm position, and put the back into the back of the chair. And then lift away a little bit. Bring the arms up. Bring the shoulders down away from the ears. Palms are facing each other. And this is freeze frame one, starting position. Flex the feet, lift. Hold back the belly button and lean forward, spine stretch forward. Look up, take a deep breath in, coming up, lift up the arms, bring the shoulders down away from the ears so you're getting your body in posture again. And now reach, lock out the elbows, squeeze your bottom, hold in the belly button, tuck in the chin, lean forward and go down. Look up, you're going to feel a hamstring stretch too, the more you articulate the body into that. Shoulders away from the ears, palms facing each other, feet are flexed out. Starting position here, hold back the belly button and lean forward. Look up, come back up. Okay, we're going to stop right there for a moment. Take the handle of the chair in front of you and go ahead and bend the knees and put the feet flat into the chair in front of you and butt the two chairs up together. Walk your bottom up. Did you know your bottom can walk? Yes, it can. If you lift one side up at a time and get it in the middle, in the middle, okay? And now put a little bit of an arch in the small of your back. So the back is long, okay? The back is long, sitting up straight. Watch your knees. Make sure the knees are spread out a little bit so they're right up underneath the hips. So hips, knees, feet. Okay, lift. Breathe. And now take a foot right here and a foot right here. So we're getting ready to go into um, chair. We are in the chair. We're going to do a narrow V exercise. Okay, it's called narrow V. Go right here, tabletop position. The shins need to be level. Now, you're using your obliques. If you can, you know, not touch anything around you, 
Okay. But I tell you what, okay, so feet down. <laughs> but believe me, you will be able to get like that. You can do, this is called tabletop. Let me just explain it for a minute. Fundamental Pilates. Tabletop, the shin should be level. Like if somebody had a tray of water goblets, they could put them on your shin. So you really do need a mirror and they wouldn't topple off. Anyway, everything's working right now. You're up. Just, you're, uh, the whole body is engaged. So, <laughs> reach, reach. Ah, oh, okay, then relax a little bit, okay. Let's put, <laughs> cross at the ankles. So it's like we're on the floor now, but we're in two chairs. Okay, you're gonna cross your ankles, and you're gonna sit up a little bit, sit up. And gotta get used to these chairs here. Okay, so just let the knees go right here. So you're up that far. Let the knees go into the inside of the chair right up in front of you, okay? And hold on right here, hold on right here. So stretching again the back where, okay, lean forward, lean forward. Lean forward, stretching, come up. And we're gonna to try to go back into tabletop again. So you're up on your bottom, reach here, lock out your elbows, redistributing the strength in your body. You're gonna unwind your feet. So this takes mind power as well as body power. Center yourself in the chair you're sitting on and just bring one leg up. Point it, one leg tabletop. Put the foot down and let the other one come up. And if you can, go right here. Okay, not yet. Let's put both of the feet down. Okay. Make sure there's a space between your, between your feet. Okay, come up again. One more foot. Take this hand and put it around the ankle. Just reach toward the ankle. You're gonna keep the body straight Torso straight, okay? And now just lock out that knee a little bit. See how far you can go. See where your level is today. Everybody's different every day. Okay, go back into one leg tabletop and then come down and let's do the other leg. So come up, grab a hold of it with the hand and then lock out that knee so you're straightening it out. So what I'm doing is trying to maneuver you into narrow V without you knowing it. Okay, so other hand, bring it down to the other ankle. That's it. You're halfway there. There you go. Okay. Eventually I will be. You will. Okay, and so you can do what? This is fun. I'm telling you, it is fun. Fun! And, you know, it does take a while, um, but if you can get to the point where you're, you know, you're doing V, then all those muscles in your body that were maybe, let's call them asleep or whatever, or inactive, they're now engaged and working, you know. And uh, an 88-year-old man at the Indian Head Center can go, you know, like this, a lot of men don't have a lot of bending uh, properties like women do, but anyway, it does take a while, certain things. Okay, we're gonna push back out again. Get a snug fit. Okay. And we're gonna lift up the shoulders and lifting up the whole torso. And then we're gonna bring the shoulders down, but keep the torso up. Lock out, mama. <laughs> Lock out the arms. Take a deep breath in, elongating the spine. And almost like you're gonna to dive toward the feet. Really flex the toes. Hold back the belly button and let gravity pull you down. You're gonna feel that hamstring stretch. Look up, come back up. Lift the arms up, keep the feet real flexed, and now we're going to bring the arms down, 
down. And then see if you can grab your hands and in the, intertwine the fingers in the back and just pull down a little bit, a little bit. Opening up the chest. So much you can do in a chair and a lot you can do with two chairs. Lift, palms facing each other. Come away from the back of the chair. Let the arms come down. Hold back the belly button. Take a deep breath in and now breathe out and lean forward. See if you can touch your toes. Keep the feet flexed and let the head come down. Look up, come up. How you feeling? Good. Breathe in. Now we're going to do it with the breathing. Take a deep breath in, up. Breathe in through the nose. Start breathing out, holding in the belly button. And now we're going to dive toward the toes with the chin tucked. Down. Look up, breathe in, up. Everything up. Shoulders away from the ears. Hands out, palms facing each other. Hold back the belly and lean forward. Spine stretch forward. That's all this is. Look up, come up, but how many things are used just to do this a lot? Hold back the belly. Hold it back like somebody has you around the waist. Look up, come up, breathe in. One more time here. Hold back the belly, lean forward, breathing out. Look up, grab a hold of the armchairs. Butt it up again, walk the bottom up, okay? Take a hold of the ankles so your knees go out and you're gonna pull the feet in, pull the feet in, pull the feet in. And see, ladies, if you can get your knees out there, good. And just lean forward a little bit. Keep the back centered, the back is centered, especially when the knees go out to the sides. And now you're just going to hold on and try to pull down a little bit and get the inside of the legs stretched. Keep the shoulders away from the ears and then come back up. Knees up, knees right under the hip line. Come back a little bit. Put the shoulder blades sitting up very exaggerated, not like if you were watching television or something, you know. <laughs> hey! Nothing. <laughs> so the difference between that and using the muscles, you know. Okay, so coming up, sitting up. And you can, any, even if you're driving, you know, we tend to start lifting, lift. Just think about it. Okay, bring this in. The shoulder blades are back into the back of the chair. And now we're gonna take our foot. We're gonna take right under the toes and put it right there on the chair. And we're just going to do a variation on tabletop. Okay, push to get the top of the foot bent like that. Just sitting for a moment. It's not a position that we're normally in, so it's hard at first. Okay, so see the top of my foot, how it's pointed like that? Okay. Okay. And then let the foot be flat against the back of the chair. We're just doing things very methodically, very exact. Bring the feet again back onto the bottom of the chair here. And now we're gonna to try to put a little bit of an arch in the small of the back as you lift up, lift, 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 and walk the bottom up a little bit and relax the shoulders at the same time, okay? Just think about your spine, put your mind's eye on your spine. Now we're gonna make sure that the knees are correctly spaced, that they're not out like that and that the feet are flat on the chair in front of you. Flat, flat, okay? Take a hold of the handles of the chair right here. And we're just gonna try to take the rib cage and put them right up on top of the thighs. 
and then lift the back up. Shoulders down away from the ears. So we're just thinking actually about the spine. Lengthening it, not doing anything to compromise the safety of our back, but stretching it. Okay, reach forward here. And now let the knees go out. So reaching in and then letting the knees go out. See if you can put the feet together. That's good. So we're stretching, stretching. Stretching puts oxygen into those areas. Oxygen cleans the blood into those areas that don't normally get stretched. Relax a little bit. Look up and come up. Okay. Lengthen out the back. Bring the heart up. Push the chair up and away. And go ahead and push it out. And we're going to stand. Okay. And we're still using the chair. <laughs> So let's see, just, these are great chairs too, by the way, okay. Ooh. All right, all right. Now we're gonna stand in perfect. We can use the lines of the floor. Let your toes come up to one of the lines of the floor. Take the toes in a little bit more than the heels and that dictates the placement of the hips. Okay, and then lean forward and then come up on the toes and let the toes really spread out. That's why we don't have our shoes on. In summer, we wouldn't even have our socks on. So just coming up on the toes and then let each vertebrae of the foot come down slowly on the balls of your feet, Feel the hollow in the middle of the foot, and then we're on the heels. Lean back a little bit. Steady yourself with this chair, and just lift up the toes. Let the toes spread out. These are good exercises if you have a bunion, because they force the foot you know, out. So holding, and then just very gently, each vertebrae at a time, let the foot come down and push up. Take a deep breath in, good. Come down, lean back, toes up. Did we forget to smile? I did. Hello. <laughs> Happy New Year. Everybody's saying, how was your New Year's? I noticed so many people for some reason, it's this year, wasn't last year, the year before. How was your New Year's? I said, well, I haven't got through it yet. I wasn't up at midnight, that's for sure. Really, that's good. This, I mean, it's, that's great. <laughs> Just lifting, almost like Tai Chi, pushing up. I went to a Christmas party, and this girl's, a couple of them, they were like, wow, you look tall and thin. I said, that's because I got these shoes on. I had these four-inch heels. I'm like, well, oh, okay. But, but actually, you do get taller, like right now. <laughs> no, but, okay, we're going to, it's really good. Okay, watch your feet. Make sure you're in position. Shoulders down, away from, okay, the ears. One hand here if you need steady, okay? I'm gonna lift this arm up, and we're gonna bend. And then let this arm come down. And now we're gonna scoop up. And we're using those oblique muscles. Shoulders now away from the ears, great and then just bend over the other way. Let this 
can look up and we're going to use power here like you're lifting up lift reach shoulders away from the ears let the arms come down let's bring the shoulders up and we're going to take the elbows and put them right up on top of the hips like we're holding trays platters of cookies <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm so sugared out. Okay, now we're just going to bring the thumbs back. I was at the pool at 8.30. It's great. At Lackey, through, you know, Charles County. We're just going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. All right, breathe in up and drop. Verberation all up in the neck. Breathe in and drop. Breathe out. Breathe in and drop. Okay. Bring the arms up. Shoulders away from the ears. Okay. Now we're going to bring the chair here and make sure you can step back this is what I'd like you to do is start walking back and if you can keep your eye on your back and come down and let the head fall through the arms good okay and maybe see if you can step back that's great just a little bit more to get that. Good, okay. So look up and start walking back up. That put a little bit of a stretch into the back. Nobody's dizzy. <laughs> okay, let's take a deep breath in up. Shoulders away from the ears. Hands down, hands here again, and start walking back very methodically. So put your awareness around your body. You want to, Pilates brings awareness to your body because you're, you've got to move so precisely. And I know this is the first day and I hope I'm doing a good job. But I know I'll do better as time goes on. And so that's it. And start walking back up. Start walking back up. Okay, breathe in up. Breathe out down. And for a moment, we're going to take a moment to breathe. I know you all just had a breathing thing about breathing on. It's so important. Uh, one hand on the heart and one hand over the gut. Two most important things, right? Now, just go ahead and take a deep breath in through the nose. Breathe out, hold in the belly button as you breathe out, trying to expel all the air out of the lungs. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth, hold in the belly button, and when you think you can't blow out anymore, pucker and blow. Until you expel all the air out of the lungs. You'll immediately breathe back in again. And breathe out. Hold in the belly button. Feel the breath moving. It's not moving through the stomach, but we use our stomach muscles to assist. rotate the spine a little bit make light fists and just be you all are doing pretty good even out of the chair make light fists and we're going to rotate the spine it's like one of those merry-go-round rides um, let the fists hit the hips rotating the spine try to keep the feet 
flat on the floor. Kind of look over your shoulder a little bit. And slowing it down. Whoa! <laughs> slowing it down back in the middle. Okay. All right. It's a fundamental Pilates. Now we're up out of the chair. So it's chair and out of the chair. Okay. Tuck in the pelvis a little bit. Squeeze the bottom a little bit. Lift up the toes. Watch your feet. Make sure the toes are pointed in a little bit more than the heels. So it's not pigeon-toed standing, but just slightly. That dictates hip. Okay. So reach. Now go ahead and let your right hand start going behind you. Keep your eye on the thumb. Keep the left hand forward toward me. And then you're going to reach in the back. Breathe in. And breathe out. Back to starting position. Holding in the stomach. Other way. Breathe out. Breathe in. I got that thing on back there. It looks like I've got an extra hump, but that's okay. Ah, oh, this feels good. If y'all can remember to do things like this when you get up in the morning, life is better. <laughs> If you can, we're not always all the same way all the time. Okay, back to the center, okay? Hands on the hips, hands on the waist, thumbs back here, okay? Lower the shoulders a little bit, standing real athletic, you know, okay? Then we're just going to look up, bring up the chin, bring the shoulders back. Lean back a little bit, as if you're pushing up. Oh, did I hear some crickety cracks? Oh, oh, okay, come back up. Oh, it's, if it feels good. <laughs> okay, I have my knees cracking sometimes. Okay, reaching, shoulders down. Let's open up the arms. Okay, we're going to sideways. Ah, in unison. Another way. Okay. Now we're going to take a little bit of a wide step out. A little bit of a wide step out. And we're going to reach down. And the same thing as before. We're going to lift this arm up and back. Shoulders away from the ears. Let this arm come down. So really getting that stretch here. Now bring this hand up, your left hand up, bring it up, bring it up, and shoulders down away from you. Good. Try to lock out this elbow. Now let this arm go right here. Let's go ahead and take a wider stand here. And look in the mirror and look for a long line from the tip of your finger, wherever you're at, where, wherever much you can stretch is good. Okay. Here. Okay. Now take the arm up like this. Let the back of your hand face the mirror. Okay. Jut the shoulder out. Bring that hand down. Reach up. And then straighten out that one leg. Reach that hand back and pull that bell that's up in the ceiling. See that string? Pulling the bell down. Now go the other way. Slow motion. Hey, back of the hand, facing the mirror. And we're going to whisk down. Reach up, look for that long line, straight line, and then straighten out that knee. Let the hand come back to reach up for that imaginary string that's hooked on a bell. We're going to bring that elbow down and straighten back up. I know you felt it. Take a deep breath in up. And breathe out. 
Let's take some more folds right here with the chair. So walking back. Relax the shoulders a little bit too. So you want to be sure you're not doing anything that's going to hurt your back. And the idea is to really get the back straight and I think you could walk your feet back just a little bit more and that's it. That's really perfect right there. Yup. And just straighten the arms out a little bit more. Walk the bottom back a little bit more. Good. How you feel? Okay. How's that feel? Good. 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 Okay, we're going to stay like this for five minutes. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know! I'm sorry! I tell ya. And come up. Oh! Is it so good to laugh? It is! Okay. We're going to close now. Believe it or not, it's almost noon! And I got to get the Golden Corral! No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. It's lunch. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> I'm sugared out, I'll tell you. I've eaten so much sugar during the holiday. Sugar, sugar this. We're just going to roll the shoulders back. Shoulder blades together and down. Down, down. Pull the shoulder blades down, down, down. You feel that across the chest. Okay, relax forward. Take a deep breath in, up. Thank you all for coming here and hope I did a good job. <laughs> oh, thank y'all. Oh, oh my goodness. I had no idea like TV thing crew would be here. The Charles County television crew is here in the house. And, uh, but I had no idea, you know.